Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, Season 18 is over, and the rewards are in, as you can see here. And we will take a look at where my alliance placed. And I'll also talk a little bit about this season, what was going on, some behind-the-scenes information. And I'll also talk a little bit about the future of my Alliance War videos some ideas that I had, okay? So, first, let's find out how we did. Pretty sure I already know. And there we go. We finished gold one, which is not too bad. So, how this season uh, went. So, we joined our Shell Alliance. If you know what Shell Alliances are, very, very common, uh, and you already know what they are about. And the idea, uh, would have been to have easier wars, not going to get, you know, the big boy rewards or anything, but it would give us time to recuperate, build up our resources back from the intensity of the last season. So we would be giving up the higher end rewards in order to build up our resources. All right. That's not the only reason for a shell alliance, but that's uh, related to at least this Alliance War uh, video. So, we started winning, and one of our officers, perhaps a, a few of them, saw that there was a chance if we won, like, all of our wars, there was a chance that we could get platinum rewards in this Alliance as well. Now, remember, that was not the plan going into the season. So we started winning and some pressure was being brought to, you know, boost and, and take it seriously. And apparently not everyone was on board with this, but we were winning until that first loss. And that first loss was devastating to the morale because one battle group didn't even finish their boss. That there is no excuse for. Uh, we had someone who was already planning to leave, you know, because they didn't want to do the higher end uh, wars, but they were watching. They even posted up screenshots and they had someone in battle in that battle group go into the fight with like 30 percent of their health and then die. Clearly, the attitude was they didn't really even care. Okay. Um, no excuse for that type of behavior. And that destroyed the morale. And if you watch my Alliance War videos, you'll see the results of that morale. Uh, once that happened, it put platinum out of reach. So from that point on, People were like, does it even matter? It doesn't matter. Um, let's just get this season over with. So the only reason to down all three bosses or anything is just pride. Just a matter of pride. Um, but I don't believe the drive to win was there anymore. And it probably wasn't there for a lot of people uh, in the first place. So... Um, you'll see as as I release the uh, last uh, couple of wars, uh, the results of that uh, lowering of the morale. Uh, but we did end up in goal one, so that is is very nice. As you can see, the rewards beautiful. I don't mind these rewards. You get a, a free five star, which is probably going to just be a dupe for me. Um, you got those T five. Um, fragments here you can see i'm close to another t5 basic so when i claim it that's going to give me another t5 basic uh catalyst two t2 alphas they also have some that you can buy from this month's uh modok side quest uh if i get enough uh gold coins i'll probably purchase those and I might be able to take someone up, maybe a six star to rank two or a five star to rank five. Don't know yet. Still uh, debating on what I should do. Uh, and I may just decide to hold on to them. I just took up Silver Surfer. 
and uh, that took care of a lot of my resources already. All right, so that is where we placed uh, at the end of the season and a little bit of the behind the scenes of what was happening in the Alliance. We've already replaced a few people and we will be returning to our main Alliance, which is a Platinum. Um, we, we finished Platinum 4 uh, the season before this one. So we've got some people that are leaving and already being replaced. So we'll see how next season ends up. Now, for the Alliance War videos, if you watch some of these, you'll notice that in some of the videos, I don't get a chance to fight very often. You know, I take the same paths, uh, path one in section one, I use Gladiator Hulk, and I don't die on that path. Haven't died in many seasons, okay? Um, but if the mini boss is not downed or free rather um i can't do anything and someone else takes that mini uh if they clear it then i might be able to take the mini and i usually will as long as it's not a robot because i want to bring in omega red for that uh mini there uh same thing with section two and uh we do talk about them but usually Someone just goes ahead and takes it. If they're already boosting up for their path, they just continue on. Then you have the final area, which I call Mini Boss Island. And that has a variety of, bo of mini bosses. And if you have a good counter, then you're free to go ahead and uh, go in and take it. In fact, you're encouraged to uh, not to wait for the officers who a lot of times have a lot on their plates uh, don't wait for them to tell you to fight this or that. Uh, a lot of times, though, I'm a little too late and someone has already gotten the ones that I have a good counter for. Uh, so the video ends up with me doing maybe two or three fights. So I had an idea that I already implemented, but I need more participation from my battle group. Uh, and I might open it up if I don't have enough participation from my battle group, I may open it up to the Alliance. But what I'm going to do is I want to include other people's fights. So my battle group, which would be the most relevant to the Alliance war, um, I have had a few send me videos where they recorded their fights. Now, when we're trying to get platinum, usually the rule is that you record all of your fights. And if you die, you post it up. So there should be a recording of everyone's fights if they're doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, I am offering them a chance to maybe showcase some of their best fights or maybe their most spectacular deaths, whatever they want. Um, you know, I am willing to include that in my videos. So that has a benefit to them. They get that exposure. They get, you know, a little bit of fame. And it also lengthens my videos so that I do maybe less talking and you get more fighting because uh, YouTube rewards you if your videos are at least 10 minutes. So we try, you know, all of us YouTubers, we try to make our videos at least 10 minutes long uh, so that uh, we can get that reward from YouTube, not monetarily, but just more um, publicity. They'll promote it more. Um, but it may end up with more money because you can um, have few options uh, in monetization that you don't if it's less than 10 minutes. So that would help me out if they send in their fights. Uh, but if I see that they're not doing that, I will open it up uh, to the entire Alliance and say anyone that wants to send me uh, videos of their fights, feel free to do so. And that way I can do, you know, a little commentary on it and things like that. So I think that would be um, a little bit more entertaining so that you're not just watching me fight the same paths and possibly the same opponents or fighting with the same team. You'll get to see more of a variety. Uh, so that's, that's my idea going forward with uh, the Alliance War videos. Uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know. Uh, if that sounds good, um, I've already asked for feedback. And so far, the feedback that I have gotten 
has been positive. Uh, people like to see that. I get comments all the time where folks want me to switch up my team for a little variety. But as long as my paths are the same, my team is going to be whatever team is best for those paths, you know? And I scout out my paths, and the only time I'm going to change something out is if I see something on the path that would require it. But right now, Gladiator Hulk is king of path one. So as long as I'm taking path one in section one, Gladiator Hulk is coming. Um, he has never died on that path. Uh, in section two, though, depending on whether they switch me up, I have other champions that might be brought in. You know, like if I got path one, then I might bring in my newly ranked up and awakened Void. He might do that path much better. You know, but I also bring in uh, my Omega Red. Um, and he is great for that first mini and just many other fights. So that third one will depend on the path. And when we're back in Platinum and a higher tier, they're most likely going to have the flow. But coming up, they're going to be changing some things about Alliance War defense tactics. And that may again change my team. I was bringing in Guillotine 2099 because she dealt with flow. And that is like the most hated node uh, currently. But if they implement the changes, then I still may bring in Guillotine 2099 and it may actually be a uh, much better time using her against uh, flow. Um, but we'll see. We'll see uh, what those changes are. All right. But that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Um, if you have any suggestions for the war videos, uh, feel free to leave a comment and let me know. Um, I may agree. I may disagree. If I agree, I'll incorporate it into my videos. So take care and you all have a blessed day.